Hello, welcome back to the channel for another coin hunt. Today we have £250 of 50p to have a hunt through. This bag was sealed on the 26th of September 2023. And by the looks of it, we've got a mixture of sealed bags and rolly over bags inside. Let's open it up and see what we can find. And while that bag's being opened up, let's have a quick look at the book to see which designs we're still after. On page one, Q Gardens, the rarest 50p in circulation. Page two is complete. On page three, we need three Olympics, judo, shooting, and taekwondo. On page four, the last of the Olympics, this one is wrestling. And after that, we have everything up to and including the Queen's Memorial coin. We have a space on the next page for the coronation 50p when we find it. And the first find of the day is the Memorial 50p. So we have the mintage figures on this one now confirmed. Oh dear, I can never get this the right way around. There we go, that's right. No rotation error on that one. So that one is not a keeper. I counted the number of uh, rollover bags. There were 10 of them. So 15 were sealed. I'm gonna we'll start with rollover bags as much as I can. Let's see what we can find. I'm hoping with all these sealed bags that maybe we're gonna find a Coronation 50p. This one's going to be something, 2017, 50 pence. Peter Rabbit, that is an extremely common one, the second most common uh, commemorative 50p after Benjamin Bunny. Here we have another one from the 2017 set. That's Tom Kitten. Again, not a keeper. And then we have a very grubby Sherlock Holmes from 2019. That was not a keeper either. People Act from 2018. That one's not a keeper. It's the only one from 2018 I don't keep. Here we have a Pride. Another one that's not a keeper. That's a 2017 shield. So uh, it just looked a bit funny to me. So I turned it over and it's completely fine. Um, but 2017 is a lower mintage year on the shields. Only 1.8 million of those were circulated. So that one is definitely a keeper. Ah, and a Christopher Iron side. That one again is not a keeper. Oh, that's nice. Here we have something from Guernsey. Let's have a look and see. It's the Guernsey Freesias from 2008. So I think we've found that several times on the channel. Bear with me one second. I'm just going to double check the mintage figure on that one. I have my computer screen here. I happen to have that page up. 2008, 350,000. So that's pretty cool. Very low mintage, sort of compared to the uh, the sort of the mainland UK. Uh, for the Guernsey coins, though, that's that's relatively high. It's the third highest. Uh, 97 and 2012 were the only ones with on the Frisias which were higher minted than that one. But very nice. Territories are very welcome on this channel. Diversity, we find this commemorative more than any other on the channel. Uh, so definitely not a keeper. Had our fair share of those over the years.
and that, I believe, concludes all of the rollover bags. So let's get started with these sealed bags and see if they offer any more than the rollover ones did. Oh, dear, I dear, dropped it. It's a diversity. It's probably not the first time I've dropped a diversity on this channel. And another diversity. What have we got here? That's something. I'm trying to make out what it is. I think the well, other's Isle of Man. <laughs> what on earth is it though? I think it's a ram. Uh, I can hardly see the design though. Yeah, it is. It's an Isle of Man. It's, it's a ram. Let's have a look and see what year. Can we see a year anywhere on there? 2017, I want to say. Let's just have a closer zoom in on that, see if I can see it on the actual camera. Yeah, 2017, what a state that's in. I will try and give that a bit of a clean up. Very cool find though. Roger Bannister. So this one's pretty common, but just check the year. Looking for 2019, that would be awesome. That was uh, when this coin was restruck for 50 years of the 50p. 2004 is the original circulating year. I'll mention it because I spotted it. That's a 2008 Britannia. There's a slightly lower minted year on the Britannias. Um, I think a few people do keep those. Uh, I don't. Um, I'll put it down here since I spotted it. Oh, fantastic. There's an Olympic under here and it's a really good one. It is Olympic Goalball. So I always get confused between two designs. There's goalball and handball. And I confess I'm not that familiar with either of the sports. But this one is goalball, which is the slightly lower minted of the two. Uh, just over 1.6 million of them. That is an absolutely cracking find. It's not one for the book. We've been fortunate enough, fortunate enough to find one already. But that is really, really good. Another Roger Bannister. I didn't clock the year, so I'm just going to check it. 2004. Another diversity. Hello, diversity, my old friend. Everyone, I told a lie. Here's another rollover bag. I guess that means there are 11 of them, not 10. Give the rollover bags a chance to shine and catch up with that gold ball from earlier. Oh, I thought it was something amazing, but it's uh, a Mr. Jeremy Fisher. So that's the third one from the 2017 set that we found. We just need Benjamin Bunny now to complete the set. If we do find him, preferably he'll be one with a rotation error, of course. And this bag's the last one of the hunt. A 
Okay, I'm gonna double check all the coins now, make sure I didn't miss anything the first time round. For shields, I'm looking for years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 17, 18, and anything from 2020 onwards. And I'll post back in a few seconds with what I find. Okay, I finished checking all the coins and I didn't find anything else of interest. Nevertheless, a very successful hunt today with four coins on the keeper's row. We have the 2017 shield, the 2008 Guernsey Frisias. We've got the uh, Lockton Ram here from 2017. I've given that one a bit of a clean up so you can all have a better view there of the design. So that's tidied up quite well. Luckily, it was mostly just dirt. Needs a little bit more work just to get it absolutely perfect. But uh, yeah, pretty pleased with how that one's turned out. I just gave it a little clean with a soft rubber. And then last but not least, we have the 2011 Olympic Gold Ball, uh, which is a really fantastic find. I've only found a handful of those before, so very pleased with that one as well. Thank you very much for watching as always. If you enjoyed the hunt, please do consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribing, and I'll see you next time for another coin hunt.